Well, I thought it was time to come down to earth and answer a few questions real time. Now, let's get to an important one that people keep asking me about. I say, hey, August, I find your books very interesting. However, you mentioned fighting evil. Do you mean figuratively? Well, you've got to remember, obedience means doing what you're told regardless of what's right. Resistance is doing what's right regardless of what you're being told. You know, people should not be afraid of their government. Government should be afraid of their people. And I don't really want to get more into it than that. Um, and now back on topic. I just read Neogenesis and I am now convinced to work out and do resistance training. I'm very familiar with Dirk and Sandy's work and just ordered the inner power. It wasn't until I it was brought to my attention through your book that most people end up in nursing homes. It is the rule, not the exception. Uh, not only is my mother in one, but her siblings also. And I don't want to end up there myself, sitting around in a chair all day because, you know, not even able to walk. My question is, being a woman in her mid-60s, will I be able to gain strength and muscle using a three-minute workout, or should I work out longer? I understand you were 69 when you started, but you're also a male, and I'm post-menopausal female. Kudos to you for writing such a great book. I love dry fasting and everything that it has done for me, but now I see that I need to get strong. Yeah, you do need to get strong. And yeah, the three-minute workout does work. Um, the two biggest problems with aging is sarcopenia and osteoporosis. When you work out, you stress the bone to release a bone hormone that helps build bone. It also helps build the muscle. The three-minute workout, as you've noticed in Dirk and Sandy's work, is based off of the addition of arginine before you work out and a couple of other ingredients that helps you turn on your growth factors, uh, turn on your amino acids, turn on your mTOR C1 and 2 to actually turn over muscle and make muscle. And it's designed to do this very rapidly because in the, also in the 80s, about the same time, uh, Arthur Jones, Mike Metzler, and a whole bunch of other guys figured out that you don't have to lift for hours and hours and hours. You just have to do it a specific way that I describe in the book. So get the book, read about it. It really does work. And thank you for the compliments. Okay, uh, let's see. In an earlier video, you were spending more time in the gym than you do now. What gives? Well, uh, I thought it was probably last year. And last year, I was experimenting with what works. I mean, I'm 69, 70 years old. I had to figure out how to do this. And I, and I tried all these different variations of time and exercise and breaking up the routines and stuff. And it wasn't working. As soon as I incorporated the work of Dirk and Sandy and the Metzer brothers, man, it works. It works fast. Now, you got to remember... It takes time to build muscle tissue. It took years to get rid of it. It takes time to build it back. Um, so don't expect miracles in a couple of weeks. But I can tell you, in like the last six weeks I've been doing this, I've gained strength incredibly. I mean, I'm lifting twice as much weight in the gym. I'm growing muscle. I've got good definition. Maybe tomorrow I'll show you. But yeah, it's the reason I did that in the earlier video is because I'm honest with you guys. I show you what I'm up to while I'm up to it. And when I find something that works, I give it to you. Okay, so rebounding. Uh, get a trampoline with a bar or get one without a bar. Does it inhibit the exercise in any way if I have to use the bar? Yeah, you can buy these Celicizer rebounders um, from David Hall, and they come with a bar attachment that hooks over one of the, couple of the, the, the leg supports so that older people can safely bounce. And it gives you, a, because as you age, you lose your sense of balance to some degree. So that will kind of stabilize you and give you the ability to bounce on the rebounder which is great because at NASA, we uh, put the astronauts on rebounders after space flight to rebuild their bone and their muscle because they lose a lot of tissue and bone density and stuff while they're in space in zero gravity. And like I said in the last video, interestingly, in the womb, you're in zero gravity. As soon as you get out of the womb, you're fighting gravity your whole life. The way to fight gravity is with muscle strength. Uh, you say in the book that you started working out at age 69 years old. I'm only in my 30s. Do you think I need more than three minutes? Well, it depends on your goal. I mean, the goal of the book is to rebuild strength and bone density. I mean, if you want to get big muscles and do all that kind of stuff, yeah, you could probably go into that. But even so, the techniques in a three-minute workout will even make your muscle growth better as you go on without having to spend a lot of time in the gym. Okay, well, I need a training partner for this peak output performance routine. Well, no, because I designed this so that if you want to go further, they get bigger, yeah, you probably need a training partner. But the idea here is to just lift as much as you can and lower it slowly 
and do the 10 reps. And if you can lift 10, you need to raise the weight. You can do it by yourself. Just concentrate on form. The idea here is you're not trying to throw the weight around. You're trying to lift the weight in a specific form so you don't hurt yourself. Uh, let's see. I'm worried about what's going on in the world today and want to increase my immune system strength. Any advice? Uh, actually, they said some other things I can't really repeat over this platform. But yeah, you do want to increase your immune system. And the way to do that is to exercise, like I said. And also, that's why I invented the stem cell region. Uh, your immune system is produced in bone marrow. The bone marrow cells produce the immune system cells, also the periosteum around the bone. And what I found in this study, I forget where it's from, I'll try to post it here, that um, if you add these specific nutraceuticals together, that individually, they don't have much effect at all, but together they synergistically provide a 70% increase in bone marrow production of immune cells. So yeah, I take two of these things a day and I never get sick. I just don't get sick. I also do vitamin D and the other stuff you're supposed to do, and you won't get sick. Your immune system prevents you from being ill. And I invented the stem cell regen to increase your immune system. And as a side benefit, it'll help you from uh, getting sick and fighting off uh, disease and infection. Uh, let's see here. Three minutes seems pretty short to actually work muscle. How long are you actually working in the gym? Well, I get there, and I'm, we're, my partner and I are there for about maybe 15 minutes. But the actual time I spend lifting is three minutes. I'm, I, we do three or four different routines, and we time it. And you can just use the stopwatch. We've done it, and I do three minutes. I mean, I'm not going to do more and, and say I've only done three. I'm going to be honest with you guys. And yeah, in three minutes, you can build strength and muscle because I want to make sure the book works, which it does, and I want to make sure I get strong, which I am. So that works just fine. Uh, three minutes a day resulting in muscle growth. I want more out of the bait than that. Can you give some examples of subjects covered in the book? I'm fairly young still, and in, uh, going to the gym for muscle hypertrophy, muscle building, as opposed to atrophy. I know that unless you take anabolics, there's nothing else than hard work that will stimulate muscle protein synthesis. Well, you know, at your at younger ages like this guy, uh, you do have the growth hormones and stuff at a higher level, which does help quite a bit. When you're older, you need to do something that actually helps you know, get that going again. One of the problems with aging is the growth factor releasing cells that stimulate the growth factor cells to release growth factors are suppressed and reduce the number over time. And the somatostatin cells, which actually suppress growth factors, actually act as a, a kind of a, uh, a limiting factor on them. That's, they've got plenty of that still. So what arginine does is it doesn't build muscle. It doesn't increase growth factors. What it does do is it suppresses somatostatin, which allows more growth factors to be available for use. So. Yeah, you don't need all these enhancements when you're younger, but you also just need to understand how the muscle works. Muscle growth is based off of mTOR. There's mTOR C1, which works off amino acids, and mTOR C2 that works off of growth factors. So if you're providing the, the amino acids and the growth factors, these two complexes can meet at the lysosomes and combine to start stimulating the growth of muscle cells. And that's why it's the nutrition aspect and the growth factor aspect but you'll also notice that when you look at the, uh, reading the book, working out the big muscles especially is really good. If you really want to increase this, do some squats, do some, some leg lifts, that kind of stuff, because that will increase the amount of growth factors in the larger muscles which are going to the bloodstream and do this. Now, you'll remember in the book, if you've read the book, Dirk and Sandy discovered this during the time where they were developing a muscle growth nutrient. And Sandy had just broke her foot, so she couldn't do anything much. So she went to the, bin, uh, the gym and only worked out on intense exercises for three minutes on a bench press. That's all she did. But within six weeks, she had five pounds of muscle. Her, her, her foot healed really fast, and it worked all over her body to grow muscle. Why? Well, because you work any muscle, you're going to get these growth factors that help you make muscle throughout the muscular system, the skeletal muscles because she was releasing osteocalcin from the exercise in the bone, it helped her re, uh, regrow her bone tissue because osteocalcin is extremely important for re, uh, remineralizing bone. So the fracture was able to heal faster, her muscles grew faster, they shared it with their friends, they grew muscles, muscles faster. It works like a charm, it really does. I know it sounds incredulous, but Sandy only went to the gym two to three minutes a day and did this. 
This has been proven. It's been done by a lot of people already, and it's already acknowledged to work, especially in older people like myself. So I don't think you're going to have any problem using a three-minute workout to get stronger and have better bone density. I mean, it works for me and my partner. She's in her mid-60s. I'm 70 now. If it works for us, it's going to work for you. So look, I'll be back tomorrow with some more questions. Um, I think I'll split this up a little bit and maybe some dry fasting questions, some detoxing questions, that kind of stuff. But that's it for today. So uh, see you tomorrow.